Hello and welcome back to SRB Gaming. This is KSP Exploration Episode 11, Kerbal Space Program in 1.0. And uh, as I promised in the last video, this is the launch of the new and improved CEV Crew Exploration Vehicle. It, uh, as you saw in the last video, the first CEV had a critical failure on the surface of Minmus where it could not move without use of SAS and the pilot had to be rescued by the newest MSL launcher, although that did give us a capability to test that, which was good. The new CEV is, uh, well, it works, so it's pretty good. Uh, again, contains three redundant power supplies, solar, RTG, some uh, radioactive decay, and uh, a fuel cell with a small Oscar tank inside, just in case it needs fuel for whatever. It also contains a docking port on the back, which allows it to possibly dock with missions on the surface. The low gravity of Minmus of 0.49 meters per second squared makes that pretty simple. You know, theoretically, it could even tow one of the mining probes, which I might actually try, but um, I'm not sure if that would mess with the center of gravity too much. Uh, so this SEV, I'm glad to say, works, and uh, we're using a slightly better launcher, so it doesn't tip over this time and have issues. Uh, double stage, uh, actually triple stage if you include the landing. Uh, I added landing gears to the landing stage, so that will land, and uh, the lander will stay on the surface as debris. I am trying to keep as much debris as possible, because eventually I want to go like visit it again, so that should be uh, interesting. Uh, deployment of the SEV will be the same. It will decouple and use its SAS to ride itself. Once it lands on the surface, it will disable all SAS and use wheels. That's the most important change to the new second generation SEV. It's using... Uh, new wheels, wheels that actually work. A max speed of about 10 meters per second, but more practical one would be 7. Um, it's pretty slow, but you can use time warp, and Minmus is small. Um, so again, SEV Crew Exploration Vehicle, in case you didn't watch the last video, is basically a space truck or space bus. Carries one Kerbal, basically a big rover that carries a Kerbal in a pod. It's meant to explore Minmus, and uh, our mission objective today is to complete the mission objective of the first SEV mission, which was to visit the defunct Osprey mining probe, which failed to complete its mission and has been recently replaced by the Eagle mining probe, which succeeded in completing its mission. Our, lo our destination is the flats of Minmus. Uh, we will also visit the SEV, although not in this episode, the old SEV, which is just a over a kilometer from the Osprey mining probe um, that was left there after Rich Room Kerman departed in the latest Minimus surface lander to return to the station, which you can see in the last video. You should watch that if you're watching this one, by the way. And uh, so it's abandoned right now, and that sev has no parts we can salvage without using a Kerbal inventory system mod, and since I said I would not add mods if in the asteroid redirect mission, because there's been slightly more support for keeping stock game, we will not be able to refurbish the parts. Um, yeah, yeah, again, what I said was, there's been slightly more support for keeping it stock than keeping it mods, although people have said both ways. So for now, I'll be keeping it stock, and uh, possibly, eventually, I'll ask again, and if you guys would go to mods, I'd be happy to do that, because I was kind of wanting to do it, but more people want stock, so I'm staying with that. Landing was pretty simple again, uh, had to do some maneuvers to get the trajectories correct. Remember, when you're trying to land at a target on a surface, Minmus is an easier one because it's small, you have to remember to take into account the rotation of the planet. So I usually get my orbit low, so it's not too bad, and then you want your trajectory to be a little bit to the right of your location. Yeah, assuming you're not have the moon flipped upside down, then you want to go to the left. But that way, the planet orbits, or moon orbits under rotates under you and your orbit doesn't change so your trajectory is going to land right where you want it if you put your trajectory a little bit to the right if you put it exactly on you will miss it and uh, my goal is generally to get within a kilometer with MSL land minimum surface landers I try to get within a kilometer and then I do a series of hops to get within 200 meters with a sev I don't care because I can drive it now, uh, the SEV is equipped with lots of lights, so we'll be able to observe the uh, Osprey mining probe in all of its glowing glory. Um, it uh, still has operational drills, actually, and it does it is able to mine a small amount of ore for a very short period of time. So if we were really desperate for fuel, 
I don't know why we could probably use it, but it again, it's a failed mission for most part. Um, it's yeah, it, the eagle is much better. This will be the um, fifth mission to the flats of Minmus. The flats on this side of the moon. The first was a uh, uh, obviously the Osprey mining probe, and it actually hasn't been seen by a Kerbal since it uh, detached itself from the CTV-4 in Minmus orbit in Episode 3, so you can go watch that if you want to see the Osprey when it was first deployed. You'll see it again at the end of this video. And uh, the second mission was Minmus Frontier Ground, which has since relocated its base. The third was um, an MSL to resupply Minmus Frontier Ground. The fourth was the defunct SEV first generation, which is currently uh, stuck in the flats, it can't move. And the fifth will be this SEV, which I'm glad to say works. Again, not that fast, but it's uh, much easier to move around the surface than using a grasshopper technique like the MSLs do. The landing stage, um, thankfully, did not tip over. And uh, this pilot was Ernik Kerman, which was uh, one of the pilots on the Sky Chaser plane, which I'm planning to redesign eventually because it needs it needs work to be any better than this CTV-4 transporter, which holds three Kerbals. And, uh, that pilot is going to stay on the surface for a long time. Since I was able to complete the objective of visiting the Osprey, I'm going to do a secondary objective of visiting the uh, Broken Sev. Um, I might be able to repurpose that into some sort of base, but I'm not doing that now. Uh, I would have to send more modules in order to do that. After visiting the Sev, if I have time, not in this video, possibly later, I will send the new Sev to um, the Minimus Frontier Ground, although I'm not sure if it can climb hills that much. Vision Rover had some issues with it, although Vision was significantly smaller and lacked SAS, it, um, and it was, it was on a slightly less slope, inclined slope. It could still drive, but it had some issues, so we're going to do some tests with that. I don't know how the SEV will operate on higher gravity conditions because I still haven't tested it on Kerbin, very lazy. I'll probably do that, and uh, if it works, we might be sending them to uh, more exotic locations in the future. So uh, it's an interesting exploration vehicle that allows me to actually move around on the surface since EVA and Kerbals are very inefficient and annoying to pilot. Uh, yeah, so uh, the lights are very strong, allows us to see the Osprey very well. And um, Ernica Kerman, the pilot, we, has no mode of transportation to go back to either the station or uh, Kerbin, as the Horizon Station, not Frontier Station, is actually full right now, our orbital minimus station. I need to pick up some Kerbals, and there are no ships, although we do have the MSL, which could pick uh, the Kerbal up on the surface, but again, there's nowhere for it to go. So I'm uh, going to have to send a pickup mission, bring some Kerbals home. Uh, I actually did bring back the CTV-4 flyby mission to Duna, which was a success, although it barely was. Uh, I sent one of those to Duna, and uh, that was not on recording, but it was able to get back into Kerbin with a very fast re-entry, uh, and I had to use the RCS jets to actually complete the maneuver, so it was very close. That ship is not meant for interplanetary. I'm going to have to redesign it to go anymore. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed these first uh, mission to the space bus that actually worked. The CEV. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed it and uh, look forward to episode 11. See you next time.